Hey everyone. Thanks for stopping by Suburban Sill for yet another plant rescue. I picked up a bunch of plants at the hardware store and we're gonna rescue them one by one. Now it's time for this bird's nest fern. I don't think that I'm like a fern specialist or anything. I like ferns, they do not always like me. And this one I got for $3. I thought, you know what? Let's see what we can do. It is so dry, poor thing. So much for the wick, right? Ah, oh, there we go. Oh no. Oh no. I don't know. I'm gonna have to take this over to the hose and see what we can resurrect. This is really, ooh, that's hot water. Let's not shock it anymore, huh? This dirt is hard as a rock. Now, these little leaves in the middle, I thought were promising, minus the bird poop down the center, but, which is, yeah. No, a bird's nest fern, all these leaves should be like sticking straight up, like that. Hmm. So just a real quick update. I came outside today. It's only been two days since I got this bird's nest fern for three dollars and I was really surprised to see it already starting to kind of bounce back so I just thought I'd take a quick little video update um, I think that's a really good sign I mean obviously it's still not looking great but you know I'll just take some more time it's been a few weeks since I got this bird's nest fern and as you can see, um, I've burnt it a little bit on accident. I thought it was gonna love my greenhouse. It did not. So um, it's now living in a shaded spot. But the dirt that it's in that it came in, remember I kept it in there because it was just so hard. And I'm now convinced that there's not gonna be any progress on this plant until I get it out of that dirt. So um, there's been no new growth. It's been about mm, a month, I think. And as you can see on this little one, this is was left over from the um, fern terrarium. See, look how that cute little new leaf spirals up. That's what I want. That's what I want to see on this one. They're in there, nested down there in the bottom there, but there's no movement. Nothing's happening. And it's pretty gross in there anyway. I think there's even some cobwebs. So I'm gonna try and get it out of this dirt. I've been watering it like every other day, I think, just trying to get it loose. And it's, oh, it's much better. Um, it's just still, oh, it's much better, but still just really, really caked on there. And I just don't think we're gonna see any progress unless we get some of this dirt out. And I'm even thinking I'm gonna upgrade this bird's nest fern to one size up in pot now that I think about it. So let me go grab a pot and I'll be right back. So I'm back and I got a new pot and actually what else I did is I went outside and I gave it a thorough flushing of water I flushed out the middle part, flushed out the bottom, um, and I got a bigger pot, some terracotta. Got a little dirt in there already. I'm just gonna repot it real quick. And I'm hoping 
that in my next plant update, we'll have some new leaves. That's my hope. So I'm gonna check in on the bird's nest fern real quick. And only because there's been some positive progress. If you can't quite see down in there, those little leaves that were stalling out are starting to unfurl. And I just happen to have some water, some plant food, which I don't normally do this, but I'm gonna try and give it just a little bit of this plant food um, with its watering. It's not a lot, it's just a little bit, and I thought I would just see if that might kickstart a little bit more activity. Um, I know you don't really want to fertilize a plant that's in distress, but I don't really know if I would consider this bird's nest fern in distress anymore. So we're gonna give it a little fertilizer and see what happens. I'm back for a update, the last update on the bird's nest rescue. I came out this morning to see some cute new leaves unfurling from the center of the fern. Hopefully you can see down in there. That one right there is new. Um, and the other ones are just looking like they're getting ready to pop up. So wanted to say thank you for checking out this plant rescue. This was definitely more um, a more taxing rescue. This plant required a lot of attention, a lot of watering, um, and needed to be checked on regularly. Even though I made a mistake and kind of burnt it, I don't know, I thought that it would like the humidity of my little greenhouse, but I was wrong. Um, it was still very fulfilling, and I'm glad to see this bird's nest fern is on the mend. Thanks for stopping by. Please subscribe to Suburban Sill um, and get notifications on all the new videos I'll be posting here shortly. And uh, follow along on Instagram at Suburban Sill for daily updates. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.